What's going on guys? Today is the day we are going to make this Jeep look a little tougher. If you've been following along, you'll know we did a lot of work on this thing to get rid of some of the rust, do a lot of rust repair and mitigation with the frame and the body and uh, cleaned up the engine bay. And But now it's time for some cosmetic upgrades, but not only cosmetic, a little bit of functionality upgrading as well. Today we're adding the hood vents, the louvered hood vent for the Jeep TJ, the Rust TJ. You guys know only one thing about Jeeps. You know that the four liter inline sixes generate a ton of heat and they don't move a lot of air through the engine bay. That goes for the Cherokees and the Wranglers. They just build up a lot of heat in the engine bay. They can cause vapor locking in the fueling system, but uh, the biggest thing that they've that they're known for is overheating, warping heads, blowing the head gaskets. Really do pretty well if you keep moving you know, down the road, but if you're uh, idling in heavy traffic or it's a hot day out on the trail and you're not moving around all that much, uh, they can get really, really hot and we want to prevent uh, that as much as we can. People upgrade the cooling system, they put electronic fan or electric fans in, uh, we have an upgraded radiator, um, but a good way is to add these hood vents to allow air to move more freely out of that engine bay and keep the engine as cool as possible. So that's what we're doing today. It's going to look cool, but it's going to have some functionality to it. As as well getting right into it the first thing we had to do is just remove all of the things that are connected to the hood because we're going to take the hood off set it up on the uh, saw horses and we'll go from there i'm also going to take this stupid uh hood support off because i just can't stand it start with the light push pan i just popped the whole lens off the light that's easy enough um, the hoses for the washer fluid just pop out of the clips um, these rubber things, if you have any old vehicles, they're always difficult to pull off and the plastic stems that they connect to are always very brittle. So the easiest thing actually to do is just cut the hose and then we'll peel it off the plastic piece once we pull that the uh, washer fluid nozzles out and then we'll just slide the other portion of the hose back on. So there's plenty of slack, so that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, that's what I recommend. So you're just left with this. Exact and I go the long way. There we go. Just push these little tabs in either side. Both of them out, keep them somewhere safe. You'll most likely have a grounding strap here. Um, apparently mine was ripped off somewhere, somehow. Uh, so that's it. We'll pop these, uh, the rubber hood pads out once we have the, uh, the hood off. We just can pull through. I guess we'll do it now. them but there you go I'll need a Torx to remove the hood hinges and then we can pull this bad boy off it is a t40 by the way us to uh, address a little bit of the corrosion and stuff too that we've got underneath the hinges and paint the hood and we'll be all set. Not bad at all. Handle comes in quite handy. Get out here on the saw horses. I'm going to pull this hood support off, of course, but like I said, I can't stand it. Um, and then, oh yeah, we got to take the handle off. I might flip this upside down real quick. 
nine millimeter for the handle nuts. Eight millimeter for the hood support. They provide you with this really nice template, actually, with some written instructions that are pretty clear to understand. Um, we're going to cut it out on these hard lines here, and then we'll cut the holes out for uh, the windshield bumper holes. And that's going to help us align this on the hood. Uh, we can stick a Sharpie marker, as they tell you to do, in the uh, instructions. That'll keep everything lined up. Tape the template down. And then th their instructions tell you to use a one-inch hole saw to cut basically these... Um, to cut these holes in strategic locations to help you kind of, um, you know, delineate, outline where you're going to be cutting the holes for the louvers. Um, I'm not going to use a one-inch hole saw, actually. I'm just going to drill um, near each of the edges. We're going to flatten it out a little bit, but we're going to poke these holes and line everything up. Make sure you try to cut as straight as you can because you're, you're really kind of eyeballing distances too when you're trying to get everything oriented and you know properly and to fit properly and symmetrically on the hood itself. So again, make sure you cut the template out you know nicely and cleanly. Straight lines, people. One thing that's a little odd is that the the uh, hood vent doesn't line up with the template exactly, which I guess isn't that big of a deal. The holes themselves line up when you're trying to line these up. Uh, and the holes for the handle and the holes for the uh, washer fluid nozzles, those line up. So that's not a problem really, but just be aware. Actually what I'm going to do is just drill some holes with a regular drill bit. I don't know, what is this, quarter inch drill bit, something like that. Uh, on the edges, then I'm just going to cut the uh, dotted line out with an X-Acto knife and kind of draw myself some lines to trace with the cutoff wheel. The thing really is that as long as this, as this is open, it's going to move air through the, through the vents. What you just don't want to do is go beyond the edge of the template so you don't have, it, otherwise you wouldn't have anything to, to screw into. You know, you wouldn't have anything to fasten that, the plate with. So this could be a tiny hole and it would still move air out of the hood, right? So I'm just gonna drill some holes as a guide and then I'm gonna trace. Here we go. You can see I got these little holes drilled, but template cut out. I never follow directions. What's the point of that? You gotta live. I'm just gonna cut this other one out. A little exacto knife action. There, we got the lines drawn. It's very bright, I hope you guys can see it, but lines are drawn. Now we'll start doing the cutting.
All right, got them cut out. Now we gotta just do some cleanup. Oh, did I hurt my thumb? Damn. Um, and these back vents, just be careful cutting them out because the support on the underside of the hood runs right under where you cut. So just do real thin cuts. I cut the outside edge first and then flipped it up because uh, you just don't want to cut through that, obviously. So I'm gonna clean up all the little cuts, little holes. We'll spray a little paint on them to make sure we protect it from future rust. Then we're ready to lay the louver on and mark all of or drill all of the holes to mount it with the hardware. Top side and underside both painted now. And I touched up where the hinges go just to make sure that that area is uh, looking good now and fresh. So it looks decent. So I suppose the goal now is to have this lined up in place. I um, want to make sure it's relatively secured. I'm going to drill a couple of holes in the front and in the back. Fasten the nuts and bolts down to hold it in place and that way we'll know that every one of our uh, hardware holes is drilled in the proper location. And before we fasten it all the way down, we'll make sure the hood is totally clear of any metal dust and metal shavings uh, that may have still be that may still be remaining on the surface. Definitely don't want moisture getting under there, and then causing those metal shavings to rust, and then that eating through your paint and your hood and all that stuff. So we want to make sure it's good and clean before we lay it down. Uh, I thought about getting some two-sided tape just to seal it up, but I think it's going to be held uh, tight enough in place as is. So I'm gonna make sure it's aligned, try to stick some pens in those holes or something. And again, just drill some holes. Use a little tape to help hold it in place. Uh, but I got the four little bolts, uh, one on each corner to hold it steady. I'll drill the rest of the holes. 730 seconds drill bit, by the way. I just wanna make sure this is wiped down and cleaned off thoroughly before we put the louvers on. I'm using a chemical guy speed wipe. It kind of is a protective too. It's got a little bit of a, like a waxy in it. So uh, I'm just going to spray it down, wipe it off. Every little bolt is in finger tight just to make sure everything lines up. I'm going to actually stick the hood bumpers in now. Uh, so I have a little bit of room underneath the louver to get uh, to get enough force to you know really get them to secure in the hole.
Guys, I think it looks super awesome. Turned out way better than I even expected. I, I don't know if I don't know if it's a combination of this blue and the flat black, but this just this looks incredible to me. I love it. Not only does it look awesome, it looks badass. It is functional and it should be a major help in keeping this engine cool, keeping this engine bay a little bit cooler, allowing some of that airflow to come now in the grill and escape out the hood. Uh, these louvers are facing the front of the vehicle, so it actually will pull a little bit of cool air in there as well, pushing it kind of back and up and out the vents. Um, but this is going to be a nice addition to this vehicle. Again, looks awesome, but it's functional. And you really can't beat that in terms of modifications to your vehicle. A couple of things I gotta say though, guys, that the fit and finish is actually really, really good. The template is very helpful. It's made out of heavy duty, you know, paper. It's not all flimsy and crappy. It actually works and it helps do what you need it to do. Uh, the instructions are very, very clear. It's an easy installation. It takes a little bit of time because there's a lot of holes. Uh, you gotta, you know, paint the holes and things like that so you don't get rust. So there's some prep work and other little kind of piddly steps that you gotta do and go through to make sure everything uh, is good. And your final product is quality. But it fits great, looks great. Um, I gotta say though that this is uh, one of those kind of no-namers as far as I know. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I'll put a link in the description below. Um, it, like I said, it fits great. It's not all that less expensive than some of those bigger name brand ones that are available, but uh, I think it fits just as well. And as far as I've heard, uh, the instructions and the template and the hardware are just as good, if not better, than some of those bigger name brands that you can find. So I highly recommend this one uh, because it also has the holes for the hood bumpers, uh, but it also has the slots for uh, the washer nozzles. A couple of tips and tricks though, I would say make sure you have your tools ready and you have the tools that you need. Cutoff wheel is very, very important. Uh, drill bits are important, obviously. You don't need the one inch hole saw. Obviously you saw me make it work without it. It's not really necessary as long as you can follow the, the template you're in cut a straight line with a with a, with a uh, cutoff wheel you're just fine take your time obviously make sure you have some spray paint uh, and stuff available so you can coat the bare metal so it doesn't rust uh, if you can do if you can help it at all do this in the garage or on a cloudy day uh, if you are out in the sun like i did that heat radiates off the metal hood and it is insane and also every time you touch it you bring shit out of your fingers but we are getting there with this Jeep, guys. We've got a couple other things done and a couple other things on the way, a couple things to do yet. So uh, stick around. I hope you guys are enjoying the Jeep Rusty J content. More to come, but more stuff for the Q50 as well if you guys are here for that uh, normal content. I appreciate you guys following along. I appreciate the continued support. We'll see you in the next one.